Marty Gilliard. Wide receiver. He might go! University of Cincinnati. Gilliard, he caught him with one hand! A top performer at the Combine with a 39-inch vertical leap, Marty Gilliard has outstanding range. From a standstill, his 32 and a quarter inch arms enable Marty to reach balls three and a half yards away in every direction. There's no way we're gonna get any better than that. I dig it. Good range needs soft hands. Pressure centered gloves reveal Marty catches the ball with an average of just 17.4 pounds of force which means he has hands as soft as sports science alum, Santonio Holmes. But before you can catch the ball, you have to get open. And that doesn't always require flat out speed. Touchdown, All great wide receivers are fast. Right. We all know that they can go from zero to their top gear quickly. Right. The question is how quickly can you go from your top gear to zero? And that one makes a good receiver great. Exactly. Marty goes from zero to a top gear of 17.6 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds, but he can slam on the brakes and get back to zero in only 0.8 seconds. This ability to stop on a dime enables him to execute precise timing routes and to create separation from the defender. But just how precise are his routes? As a baseline, we had Marty run a 10-yard button hook. What we want to see is if you can run your routes with your eyes closed. Lord have mercy. Marty's eyes won't just be closed. I'm about to run this route Houdini style. They're actually going to be blindfolded. This feels so weird. <laughs> Go! Yeah. Blindfolded, Marty takes the exact same number of steps to cover the 10 yards. And amazingly, overlaying the footage reveals that when he stops to make his break, his right foot is within one inch of his original route. Marty Gilliard's ability to go from top gear to zero in less than a second and to run a precise route is invaluable because on average, Pass attempts in the NFL go for less than seven yards. The kind of short timing routes you need to be able to run with your eyes closed. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brankus.